Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This case of Holshue v. Howard. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Holshue, you claim your mother had an affair with the defendant's father, and today you're in court to prove that he is your biological father. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, it is. Ms. Howard, you and your sisters say Ms. Holshue is a delusional troublemaker whose promiscuous mother destroyed your family and ruined your home. You say Ms. Holshue is dragging your father's name through the mud and there is absolutely no way she is related to you. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Holshue, why do you believe you're related to the Howards? Um, because my mother and Mr. Howard both told me that he was my father and also family members on his side of the family have also said that I'm his daughter. And, and you... also I'm in the obituary as his daughter. You are? Yes, I am, ma'am. That was a big mistake that her name was put into the obituary. Our father's sister did that. No. And did not tell any of us about it. Our father didn't even mention her. Nope. That's so lying, why would she be put in the obituary if no one ever mentioned her or knew about her? Our father's sister and her mother were best friends. And she, our aunt, is the one that told her that she possibly might be related to us. That's not true, Your Honor. That is true. No, it's not. What? I had a relationship with Mr. Howard. No. No. Um, no. Through the years after I found out that he was my father. And the only reason no. I'm even wanting to know that he is my father is because I, I've recently learned that I have terminal cancer and I'd like to have family history. And I also, which I know they don't want to, but I would also like to have some sort of information from them mm -hmm. about sure. him. When did you first find out? Whenever about I was this? about 12 or 13. How did you find out? Because <laughs> my stepdad was drunk and um, he was fighting with my mother. And he said, Well, who do you think your father is? And so after that, my mother told me. And um, she took me and introduced me to DL. And uh, we had a relationship from then on. What would you like exactly. to add? Your Honor, first and foremost, I just want to say, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I, I feel for her that she has cancer, but there's kids out there that have been adopted that have cancer that have no idea about anything of their family history. I get it that doctors ask family history, but that's not going to cure her because she knows Nobody that. said it was going to cure I'm, me. I'm talking. I'm talking. So? I'm talking. But that's what the, she's saying dad. is... If she is going to leave this world, there are unanswered questions in her mind and in her life... That's why we're here. ...that she'd like to get answers to. That's why we're here that's today, Your Honor. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, and, you know... We're here. Thank you. And, I, I mean, you know, to the Howard sisters, growing up, did you ever hear about Miss Holshue? No. Never heard no. her. Did anyone no. ever mention her? No. Never. Yes. Never. Yes. One time, one time when I was 19 years old, my dad, he was uh, in from California. My parents were already divorced. We were in from California. He had us all meet him out at a, an old country bar. We showed up, and that and her mother was there. That? And I'm talking. They You're were, saying they, that person? Yeah, yes. Okay. They, they were there. And after about a half hour, we had some drinks and stuff on my dad's. I don't even we, remember I, that. I, and she's lying, don't. and I'm not a that. If anybody's I, a that, look whatever over the there. Whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be. Whatever the case You know, what's the big be? deal if I, he is I'm my talking. father? So what? I'm I can, talking, too. I can too. care less if what's he is. Can I say he's not my father? Is it? All right, ladies, one at a time. It's not hurting you can if, I, if he is my father. Wait, one at a time, because I want to hear this story. All of a sudden, you are brought into contact with Miss Holshue. Yes. How old were you all when I, this meeting happened? I was 19 at the time. So you remember this day? Oh, uh, with clearly, like it was yesterday. They were sitting in a booth with my dad across from her and her mother. I was standing at the end and he said, uh, I just brought you guys here to let you know that she's your sister. And really? that was the one and only time that my dad ever mentioned her till the day he died. He had never ever. mentioned it to any of the rest of us. So your dad said it to you? Yes. Your Honor, I lived so, with my... Wait a minute. If he told you, why don't you believe it? I don't want to speak ill, but I mean, my dad was, he's dead. Her mother has passed away. It's obvious my dad messed around on my mom. It wasn't just her mother. Exactly. He was, it was never just I her agree mother. I that one. And I have heard many things that say the same thing about her mother. 
He okay, so you what you're just... saying is he said that, but you felt like you had information that suggested her mother also yes. slept around yes. frequently, mm -hmm. we'll yes. say that respectfully. And yes. so it was your conclusion that even though my dad said this, it doesn't mean it's necessarily true. That is absolutely correct. When I was 17, I had moved to California to live with my father. I flew out with her younger sister. I lived there for quite a while and her name was never ever mentioned to me. From her mother, from my father, no one. And ever. just to be clear, your mother and father were married. Correct. Yes. Yes. And you share the same mother and father. Yes. Correct. All five of us. When can I also say when I was in California living with my father, we had packed up our things and moved out because my father had gone to where, at the bar where her mother was working and caught her cheating on him. That gave me no topic, uh, the thought that obviously her mother probably has no idea who any of her children belong to. Really? It's not my fault you guys don't want to know me. It's not my fault that your dad had sex with my mother and I was, I'm a product of that. And it's not our fault that they both did it either. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Holshu? Yes. Your mother never told you there were any other possibilities? Let me tell you this story. My mother married the person I thought was my biological dad when she was 14. Her and, her and Mr. Howard were childhood sweethearts. Okay, my mother didn't have me until she was 20 days before she turned 21. And she was married to the same man all that time. So what you're saying is your mom married very young. Oh, yes. Okay. But she and Mr. Howard, the deceased, their father, yes. they were still in a relationship because they were childhood sweethearts. Lies. They were in and out of a relationship. No, they no, weren't. As no, long they as weren't. I can. No, they weren't. No, they as were long not. as I knew. Our father was with us every weekend. Every weekend. She's just coming in like a big old bulldozer. My maintenance man in my building was my father's childhood friend. He and I had a chat recently and we chatted for quite some time. I do know that she thinks that she's our sister. So I asked him and he said, no, he's, my mother was the only woman that my dad at that time, early in. So you never heard any rumors about your father cheating? Oh. When we got older. Right. When we were as older. Teenagers. Right. As teenagers. Right. Only as teenagers. When you say she's just trying to insert herself into our family. Yes. Why? What's her motive? You obviously exactly. don't our want her there. Our sister is very good friends with her, and she wants her to be her sister. And we told her to prove it if she's our sister, and she kept denying, refusing to do a DNA. Well, that's why we're here today, and actually, Kelly, your sister, is here as yes. well. Ron, can you please escort their sister, Kelly, into the courtroom? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. I'm gonna come in and sit up in the witness stand up there. <clears throat> Hello, Ms. Howard. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ms. Holshue contends that she shares a father with you and your sisters? Yes. And your sisters say, oh, no, she doesn't. That's their opinion. What is your opinion? I believe that she is. You do? Tell yes, the court why. Because my father told me that she was. She just needs a family, Your Honor, because her whole family, she she's shut out. They've shut her no, out because she's such a devil. Girl. Tell me about that moment when you were informed or your father told you. Well, we were out one day, and I was about 19, and he said that he wanted me to meet one of his girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had met several of them before. Thought you said you seven. No big deal. So we go to Lynn's mother's. He introduces me to her as my sister. So we just went about our way after that, and I just took it as for what it was, and just you never questioned it. No, our dad never lied to us. You know, your sisters actually admit that your dad said to them, "This is your sister," but yes. they don't believe it because they felt like. Miss Holshue's mother had been sleeping around, had yes. a reputation. Yes. And As so they did didn't he. believe it. As did he. Oh, we don't. Our, don't our dad don't is all of our heroes. that our father slept around. He, he is our hero to this day. And I'm not going to bash him, but yes, he loved women. 
and that's just the way it was. Some men hunt, some men don't. <laughs> okay, well said. Uh, now, your sisters seem to think that Miss Holshue's just trying to stir the pot. She's trying to get into your family. You your two order. are best friends, and no, you all want We're not to be friends. sisters, and this is their theory. Your oh, order. of course. They have all kinds of theories. That's Kelly, you've been opinion. blacklisted on a family since you've been 14 years old. That's and what why you need today? her in your life. What are you two today? We're everything. Oh, I see that. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even speak to these two, number one. <laughs> I think no, we don't speak saying, to you. Okay. <laughs> they don't speak to me. So do you think your acceptance of Miss Holshue affected your relationship with your sisters negatively? No. Do they, so do they, do they ostracize don't know. you because you accepted I have no them. idea. That's up to her what she does. I still speak with Kelly on a daily basis, as I do with my other sisters. Right. I just mm -hmm. am tired of hearing about this. Your Honor, Mr. Howard invited me to a Howard family reunion. Lies. Lies. That is a Lies. total lie. It was Lies. at Guilford Lake. That Lies. is a total lie. Because you know where it was doesn't mean you were there invited. Was there was never a family reunion at Guilford Lake. It was not at Guilford Lake. It was at the reunion. It was outside of Guilford Lake. How does she know where the reunion is if she wasn't invited or someone didn't tell her? And I wasn't in town. Your Honor, Thank I you. have been to every single family reunion. And I have and been she to... Has never been Is there. it held at that location? I'm sure that she has this information because she's gotten it from my other sister. I was. Yeah, Kelly was not even in town. I, Kelly was not. I didn't know that. She was never at a family reunion. She's told you that now. She's never been to a family reunion. The think... Wait a minute. Miss Holshue, did you actually go to the family reunion? Yes, Your Honor, I did. My first husband. Hold on. Yes, Your Honor, my first husband and I went there... We walked into the pavilion and sat down with Lies. D.L. and started talking to him, and I don't remember which women it was, but chased me out, calling me oh, all these nasty things. I never lied. I saw her when she was in my life. They wanted to beat me up. She's lying. Oh, oh my God. God. I heard this wow. I heard this week. If we went in to asked, beat you up, we would have done it. And I asked questions. You did it because right. your dad stopped you. Listen, no. listen, listen, listen. I know one thing. You all might not be... Sisters, but you're acting like it mm -hmm. in this courtroom today. You are. You are. Your Honor, the first time I laid eyes on this lady was when she was sitting in the front row of my father's funeral. Yep. I was not. She in the bulldozed front row. in. Nobody asked her to come. I'm we his didn't daughter. even know she When you say she not. bulldozed in, yeah, what, what, you, what do you we'll mean? What did she come push her way through? Front row. Like she was supposed to be there or something. Right? We no, had no idea I, I, who I she don't even remember was. It, Your Honor, I mm. hope that it's true that he is my father. <clears throat> but if he's not, it should be happy days. <clears throat> they both lied to me. Him and my mother. I don't lied think they did. they teach you well? They don't know. They don't know. They don't do DNA with their eyeballs. Do you all want to get these results? Yes, yes. Yes. yes, yes. You all want to sit yes. down. Yes. Finally, finally, finally. You'd like to stand yes. with Miss Holshaw? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. I'm a pretender. <laughs> Ron, I'm ready for the I'm not idiot. Kelly, Diana, Chrisanne, and Ray Howard, you share the same father. And so, because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased David Howard, we performed a siblingship test in order to determine if Misty Lynn Holshue is the sister of Diana Howard. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Holshue versus Howard, it has been determined by this court that the probability of half siblingship between Diana Howard and Misty Lynn Holshue is 98.1%. Ah! Yeah! I knew it. Sorry. I'm glad she knows, Your Honor, but it doesn't make a difference. I'm though. glad she does, too. You know, it's very sad from where I sit to see this venom 
I have no problem with them. It's them. They hate me. I have no problem whatsoever with them women. Listen, Nobody ever, listen, I've never spoken to her. The so DNA, listen, the no. DNA has spoken. You are, in fact, half-siblings, siblings. And I'm about putting families back together. That's what we do in this courtroom. Well, never but there are instances that. where the, I look at the people before me and I realize maybe there's just too much water under the bridge right mm -hmm. now. Definitely. You all stood over there today and acted like some bad remake of Mean Girls. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I mean, just mean, just vicious. Mm -hmm. All this puffed up nonsense you all are doing in here, I don't believe a minute of it. Somewhere along the way, you all lost your footing at being sisters. You know, my grandmother used to have a saying where she'd say, be careful how you treat folks because they may be the one to give you your last cup of water. You never know in this life when everyone else is gone who will be there. More often than not, it's your sibling. It's your sister. It's your brother. You all should try when you get ready, mm -mm. when you get in a place where you can, because right now you're so negative you can't do it. But if you get to a place Try to fix this, because I know one thing's for certain. This is not what your father wants to see from the heavens. No, no. Now, you tell your father, rest in peace, and then you all commence to acting a fool. That's not right. You all say he was your hero. Live up to that. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.